Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel, Poverty Hill Adventures. How's everybody doing today? Good, I hope, <laughs> or as good as you can be. Yeah. Um, we had uh, quite a storm yesterday here, and uh, we actually had some tornadoes, which is unusual for where I live up here. Uh, but we had some tornadoes in the area none directly here but we did have quite a storm and as you can notice uh, that the uh, dining fly is a little lopsided uh, I had to patch it up uh, it got damaged some in the in the storm and once it stops raining uh, I'm going to uh, get it back uh, fixed up the best I can In the colder months, uh, early spring and fall, um, I heat the tent with a small wood stove uh, made out of an ammo can. And it does a good job at you know, taking the chill out of there. The only drawback is it burns very fast. It burns a small amount of wood, but it burns very fast. And throughout the night, you gotta you know, reach over and throw a piece in. Uh, uh, so I have been searching for a stove pipe uh, flu damper and uh, I can find them in larger stove pipes uh, but I, I had a heck of a time finding one that would fit the small pipe that goes with that little ammo can stove that I made. Well just recently I stopped at a hardware store and wow, they had the right flu, the right uh, uh, damper. And uh, I'm hoping, I'm hoping now you see me, now you don't. <laughs> I'm hoping that this extends the uh, life of the fire. And maybe uh, I can get a little bit more time out of it uh, once I start using it again. Of course, it's summertime and no need for a, a wood stove this time of year. Little orange newt here. I think he's enjoying all the all the rain and all the dampness. all that rain the uh, canvas shrank canvas uh, changes quite a bit uh, with the weather and in this case it got soaked and it actually started to pull the tent pegs out of the ground now the inside of the tent is bone dry, so the tent did its uh, its job. But uh, I just found it interesting that 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 canvas could change, tighten up that much. This little guy stopped by for a visit. I think the rain has stopped, so I'm going to... Uh Continue with my quest to uh, improve my health by uh, hunting season, and I'm going to go take a hike if you'd like to come with me. In a previous video, we had hiked here, and this area had all these blue 
what I can thought was lupine. And some of the viewers had mentioned that they thought it was an invasive species, um, purple loose uh, strife. So uh, I took a walk back here today to check. And of course, all the flowers are gone now, but they have uh, these seed pods. So I'm going to have to look it up and see if uh, it's lupine or if it is that invasive species, uh, purple loose strife. On the edge of this uh, meadow here, I I seen this box up in a tree, <laughs> and uh, uh, I couldn't figure out what it was or why it was there. Turns out it is a honeybee box, and um, not sure who placed it there. It uh, looks like it was maybe um, the conservation department. Uh, Put it up. Uh, I wish I could get closer and take a, a closer look at it. Just got back from our, our hike and uh, going to cook up dinner in a minute here. I did look up um, those seed pods and to the best that I can figure... It is lupine. Uh, I looked up seed pods of lupine and they look like the ones on the plants. So uh, I'm assuming it is lupine, which uh, I'm very happy to hear that it's not some invasive species. And uh, I started, uh, after I hiked the meadow there, I started hiking a uh, section of the North Country Trail. But unfortunately, I did not get any pictures back in there um, just a beautiful section of mature hardwoods and I'm gonna go back and I will I promise you I'll take some pictures of very impressive uh, unmolested forest
looks like the weather's gonna clear up all that all that rain and fog and bad weather and everything it looks like it's behind us and i'm hoping tomorrow is a better day weather wise dishes are all done food's put away uh gonna hit the sack pretty soon try to get up early tomorrow morning and i think i'm gonna go fishing i think i'm gonna go fishing tomorrow morning You ready to go fishing? You got your pole and everything. Let's uh, let's go fishing. Unfortunately, uh, the bait shop uh, that I stopped at yesterday was out of shiners. So we'll be doing some uh, worm and bobber fishing this morning. <laughs> uh, and we'll see what we can do. What do you say we go to the a little pond this morning. We haven't fished that in a, quite some time. We'll start out with a worm and a bobber on this little uh, ultralight. small ones so far this morning what do you say we switch over to the other pole and fish with that uh hedden meadow mouse <laughs> that's a mouthful the hedden meadow mouse we did real good with that uh the one day so why don't we uh switch over and we'll use that uh that lure and see if we can get something maybe a little bit bigger Nothing so far on that uh, meadow mouse. I'm going to take a walk down to the jitterbug tree. I know I shouldn't. I know it. <laughs> but I'm going to do it anyways. And uh, make a few more casts. And then I'm going to call it a morning here. I think it's just going to be one of them days where it's just slow fishing. Um, later on today, I had plans to head over to the fairgrounds and uh, check out a knife show they've got a knife show over there and uh, if you'd like to hang out and go with me come on along
One more cast, just one more cast. I know I'm tempting it. I know I'm, I'm tempting a snag in the, in the jitterbug tree, but I just can't help myself. One more cast, and then I think uh, we'll head out. Well, today I won. Today I won. I didn't win any fish. I didn't catch any fish. But I beat the jitterbug tree today. And uh, that's a that's a victory right there. So I think uh, I'm going to head out. Like I said, we're going to head over to the knife show at the fairgrounds. If you want to come along. Just got back from the Village of Knives Festival, knife show over at the fairgrounds in Little Valley, and it turned out to be a really nice show. Uh, it's the first year that they're hosting it. I believe the uh, local fire department uh, is, you know, running it. Uh, two buildings with just filled with some of the most beautiful, beautiful knives you ever did see. Everything uh, from custom, one-of-a-kind, uh, handmade knives to old uh, um, collectible knives, uh, just folders, fixed blades, uh, hatchets, uh, you name it, it was there. And I just had a great time. Um, I didn't buy much because, to tell you the truth, I didn't have much money with me. Uh, but I did buy, <laughs> to support the fire company, I did buy a T-shirt and I bought some raffle tickets. T-shirts are very cool. Here it is. The, on the front it says, The Village of Knives. And on the back, it has a, a color, a color picture. Now, how cool is that? It's a real nice quality, quality made t-shirt. It's not, no junk. Uh, um, very, very cool. The, the raffles were for some, some um, high-end case knives, which case knives has quite a history in, in the area. Um, at one time, the Little Valley, Cataraugus, Olean area had several, several knife makers, uh, several families of knife makers, a lot of history in the community. At the show, um, you could take a horse-drawn ride through the village, and they could tell you a little bit about the knife-making history that's down there in the Little Valley area. Very nice uh, show. I, uh, my, my hat's off to those who ran it. Um, they had some food vendors there. Just a ni and nice people, very nice people. Um, I hope it's the first of many shows uh, at the fairgrounds. I, uh, I, I will be back if they have more. It was a very nice knife show. I'm going to include a few pictures in this tent camp journal video, but uh, I think I'm going to make a separate video of the show and uh, perhaps combine it with a uh, video that I had made about um, the Cataraugus Knife Museum. And, uh, you know, combine the two and, and into one video. Uh, but here's some pictures from the show.
at the show, I had the opportunity to talk to this young man from Northman Knives, I believe it was. Uh, and let me tell you, this, this young man's work was just outstanding. Just absolutely breathtaking knives that he made. Um, I was really tempted. I was so tempted. Um, like I said, I, I, I was traveling light. I didn't have much money, but a couple of his knives uh, are just, uh, they all are nice, but there was a couple that were just calling out to me, you know, and um, I talked to him for quite a while. Very nice young man. Um, check out uh, Northman Knives. Until next time, everybody, take care. Thank you for watching. Remember to keep on trucking and believe in yourself even when no one else does.